high class. So today we're looking at the structure and function of the parts of the heart. So we're going to go through labeling the heart and how to label it and what to identify in order to know what parts of the heart we are looking at. So watch the video and at the end we're going to go through a few activities together in order to make sure that your understanding um, is fully developed before we come into the assessments. The aorta is the main artery of the body, supplying oxygenated blood to the circulatory system. It is most easily identified as being the largest artery in the body and begins at the top of the left ventricle. The pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. It is easily identified as the arteries form a shape of a capital T. The pulmonary vein delivers oxygenated blood from the lungs back to the left atrium of the heart. The vena cava is made up of the two large vessels, the superior and the inferior vena cava, and it is responsible for the transport of almost all deoxygenated blood from the abdomen and lower extremities back to the right side of the heart for oxygenation. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the pulmonary veins from both lungs and drains into the left ventricle through valves. Don't get confused by the diagrams. When the heart is shown in a diagram, the left side of the heart appears on the right hand side of the diagram. So think, it's always going to be labelled the opposite way. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the vena cava and passes this blood through to the right ventricle, which is seen below. The left ventricle receives oxygenated blood from the left atrium and pumps the blood from the lungs to the body. The right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs through the pulmonary valve. And here we finally see a fully labelled uh, heart. So please take a screenshot of this and add it to your notes. This will then help you with your study further as these will be the parts of the heart that you definitely need to remember. And that's all for labelling the heart. So what I want you to do is jump in the description box. You'll find a Quizlet and also an interactive heart labelling and this will help you um, remember your content for the assessment and really refresh your memory in terms of all the stuff that we've looked at today. Good luck.